Welcome to Overwatch. This time we're doing, well, more coaching the mini, and this time we're doing a pseudo continuation, like Song Go Tanks just asked, literally is this a continuation? It's a sort of continuation from the coaching the mini of yesterday. I mean, it's literally on like the same VOD, so this should all look very familiar down here where you can see my task bar. You can also see that it's 10 o'clock. Uh, wonderful. And yeah. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is very, very similar, but yesterday we were very kind of specific. Yesterday I was very, very specific in terms of like, oh, well, this player is doing this, this player is doing that, we could do this, we could do that. Today I want to talk a little bit more about general things when running a six stack, like ways to enhance your play when you are doing a, a six stack. Subscribe to your content on Weep Zircon. Go and subscribe to Weep Zircon as well, I'm sure, sure he needs the help. And yeah, we're, we're going to be like talking a lot about sort of things you can do with a six stack. So with a six stack, you have a lot of power. You have a lot more power than a lot of people expect. So I'm going to just kick this off. What? Hey. Bring Twitch chat back. Oh, uh, people chat. Let's turn this down a little bit as well. And so what do I mean by that? What do I mean by you have a lot of power as a six stack? Well, when you have a six stack, you can have a concise, clear plan for everything that's about to happen on this map you can have a plan for exactly how we're going to defend who's doing what what is your job what happens if this happens what happens if this happens you can set this all up in advance and you can know exactly what to do without even doing any communication so we can know already that oh we we want to have a reinhardt and winston based defense so then winston is going to be the one roaming and hunting stuff down uh chat's still up yeah chat's gonna stay up well because nothing important's happening on the screen um it will distract me a little bit though, Jesus. Uh, but we can just tailor like, everything that we need. So we know that Winston's going to be the one who's jumping around a lot more and sort of hunting things down. We know that where Reinhardt's going to be defending. We know where Zarya's going to be defending. We know where everything's going to be positioned. We know what is going to be happening with the six sack. We can make plans. We can make arrangements very concisely. And like I was saying yesterday, we can have a designated shot call, all this kind of stuff. Now, the reason why, let me move Twitch chat out this way. And by the way, use your stuff if you have questions. Um, generally, ask them towards the end. It is just the better idea. Uh, it's just easier for me to answer them then. And yeah, we'll, we'll go for it. Okay. So, defending on Voskaya, okay? So, first of all, standard, standard stuff with defending on the Voskaya. We're running a very defensive Winston again. I'd say that this is maybe a little bit too far back. We don't quite need to be back here just yet. Um, we could be a little bit closer, just to uh, make sure that we can tickle anything, but hey, they're running a Sombra. And the reason why that we are running this Winston, I imagine, is because the, like, right at the start here, I can actually just zip back incredibly fast. Is that our six stack here saw that they were playing the same six stack as yesterday. So, like, they even commented on, that was a nice Sombra start and attack, and then, hey... Yeah, and then they just run into the same team again, which is gonna happen when you're running six stacks, because it tries to place you with the same six stack. And so we know, or we have a guess that, hey, um, the six stack is going to be running Sombra. So we've got the Winston ready to deal with the Sombra as much as possible because Sombra can't do much to a Winston. It's very, very difficult for her to do things. She shut down herself, all that kind of good stuff. We've got a plan. Okay, so far, so good. We're holding the choke point, nipping in and out on the Winston. It's good, 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 good. Like, this is how you want to hold. This is like the standard um, Western hold. The Korean hold is actually a little bit different. I can talk about that maybe a little bit later. But this is very, very standard. It does what we're doing. Now we're getting a bit too far back in my mind. Now we're starting to stand a little bit too far back. The big thing is Labata needs to be regenerating the shield a little bit. Um, just because that's getting sub 500. And in general, like I'd say you want to really be trying to keep these two funnels. Like these two points on either side of this truck basically act as like funnels for the enemy team. You want to be plugging those as much as possible and you do that by just keeping a presence more towards these lines here. When you start getting back here then the enemy team can start pushing through and that gives them options in terms of pushing through this way, pushing through this way or pushing through straight into you. Um, that's where it gets a little bit dicey. That said, that's a very very good pick on that. Roadhog just advancing without a barrier. Should be an easy nice free kill. And yeah, we're just going to be hunting around, we're still looking, we're keeping an eye out for the Sombra, I'd just be careful of doing something like this, where we're suddenly leaving the fight and sort of running around trying to find an invisible enemy. You're very, very, very rarely going to ever find the Sombra trying to do stuff like that, so you just got to wait for the Sombra to make themselves known in this case. They are running a Sombra. Um... That means you're going to have to make a few concessions because you aren't running one yourself. You know that they are going to have an advantage on the, um... Ooh, 
Oh, we'll get to this in a second. But you know that they're going to have an advantage on taking health packs. Like, there's nothing you can really do to stop them doing that. So you just got to be around, but you got to want to be exerting a little bit more pressure than just on the Sombra themselves. You've got to remember that Sombra can't kill something very quickly. So even if she appears in Dex City Anna, for example, Winston can be happily over here. And as long as it gets called out, Sombra here, Sombra here, we can just leap over and kill her. Like, she's not going to blow up the Anna that fast. It's, it's a Sombra. She doesn't kill things that quickly and has ways of surviving. That said, now we want to be scared because they've done the old build-up and the ultimate. And I want to point out some irony that happens, I think literally like right here, if we turn this up. They'll have EMP soon, won't they? Yep. Yeah. They're probably they're using the health packs. So I just want to point out what was said there. So they probably have EMP soon, won't they? Very, very good call by Jimmy. Very good call by Jimmy. Uh, just keeping track of the, the key thing that's going to be like making a big, big impact in this fight. And then someone says, it's not going to have much impact, is it? Oh. Drops Barry, Barry instantly dead. Zarya has now lost half a hit points. So we're running a Zenyatta, I believe, as well. Zenyatta's on 50 hit points. Everyone's low. No one can use any abilities. They're pushing in hard. Yeah, Let's see what happens. Bet you can't guess. Bet you can't guess. Keep an eye on that kill feed. I'm looking at the camera, but you should be watching the kill feed. Everyone is dead and dying. Sombra ult, pretty fucking good. <laughs> it's a pretty fucking good ability. Um, okay, how can we avoid this happening? First, like I said, we've got a bit caught up here. Uh, is the big thing I'm seeing. We enter this very defensive positioning when we don't need to at the moment. Where, like, Labata has been mostly sticking around this area back here. And like I said, we want to be a bit further forward just so we can exert that little bit more pressure. They will win the barrier war here because they have, like, more... Well, they have a little bit more damage output than us uh, just because they have the virtue of having the Roadhog and a Zarya. We'll be running, like, our equivalent to that is the Soldier 76 and the um, Zarya. Because Winston isn't really being a big factor on the front line. And so we want to be just using that little bit of pressure, though. We want to be making sure that we aren't letting them get this much space. And the danger is that we're just clumping up. We're grouping up a lot here. And we know that the Sombra ult's coming. Like, we can't be doing this clumping. We can't be grouping up in a big pack like we are right now, for example. Oh, these ults can come in. Miranda, oh, so close. That's a defensively bubble, reactively bubble on that. As such, you notice that, like... The positioning here is all just so defensive, so far back. The enemy team is just poking and poking and poking. Literally all they're doing is letting Sombra build, letting Sombra build, letting Sombra build. I'd like to see us just a little bit further forward. Why a little bit further forward? Because if they're going to be engaging on the EMP, it doesn't really matter how far back we are unless we're like three miles back, unless we are in like the Korean positioning. Um... But when we're a bit closer, we have a couple more opportunities yeah. to get picks. We have a couple more opportunities to just put out a little bit of generous damage. Amazing that that hook doesn't land. There goes the EMP. Winston Barrier instantly dead. Reinhardt Barrier gone. Everyone's just going to be dead and dying. Luckily, you know, they use Nano Boost as well to get that. But okay. Difficult, but we can recover. It's Vol Sky Industries, and honestly, six minutes isn't too bad on the clock on Vol Like, it took them a little while to do that. You got about couple of minutes feels good like this this isn't actually too bad a situation the big thing like i want to point out though is this winston you notice that we haven't done much like we haven't really been involved in too much we kind of poked down a somber a little bit and harassed a little bit but otherwise we've just been doing a lot of standing around now first things first we should have been way more prepared than we are for this because we could see where they're going and people are making calls about the direction they're going so they just walk in and then they start going this way we should be thinking, okay, well, what are they doing? And it just feels like there's no comms about, you know, they're going upper, they're going upper. Like, this is where, you know, you ought to be saying they're going upper, they're going upper, upper right, upper right, upper right. Um, because you've got to get this information out there. Because as a result, we lose uh, our Iris, which is Mr. Artie, who is our main source of DPS. And then finally, we start getting involved in the fight as the Winston. So Winston, we should have been pulling back and just trying to keep, you know, the supports alive a little bit more anyway. Rather than just sort of running around a little bit optimistically, maybe. Still, we're not in too bad of a situation. We do get the Graviton down. Hunting on the Lucio. I actually don't like this letting go of the Lucio. I think we should have just kept on the Lucio. I know that there's two big juicy targets here, but honestly, we aren't going to be able to kill those, especially with the Lucio alive. If the Lucio is low enough, the Lucio is honestly probably worth more than dealing damage into these two. EMP comes out again, charges ridiculously fast. Sombra gets a ton of damage out. We can't do anything. We can't jump. We can't ult. We can't do anything, we're just going to die. 
So how did this happen? Like, you know, did this all went wrong. This all went wrong in a number of ways where we just weren't keeping track of the enemy. And it feels like we just felt a bit lost on the Winston. It felt like we, we were lost on the Winston. We didn't quite know what we were doing. We picked this Winston to be defensive against the Sombra, but the Sombra still was able to kind of do what she wanted. And the reason for that is you've got to be... Um, you're playing reactively. But you're playing reactively but still trying to do things you're not just waiting for the sombra you have got to be looking for other targets to poke and then wait for the sombra to reveal herself and then punish her whenever she does if you're not doing that then we're just sort of occupying a bit of space but not really shelling out too much damage still they, the enemy team to their credit uh played the sombra very well they were very sort of tentative on the pushes building it up slowly then getting the emp and acting fast when emp came in getting kill after kill after kill after kill it was also a very interesting push onto the second point where they went left and up you don't see teams uh do that very often uh that would have you know that would have caught me off guard um what i would say to that is you just pull back towards the point a little bit re regroup around the point a little bit then the winston up to poke a little bit as well so you just jump up poke 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 let the anna heal you and then back off a little bit um just use that mobility get a little bit of an advantage out of that try and deal some damage then back away and just start shelling down shelling down shelling down with the rt uh, keeping the salt seven six alive put damage out there maybe do something off the back of that still let's have a look at what we're doing on the attack we're running triple tank oh no we're running quad tank aren't we yes we are oh you dirty buggers You dirty, dirty, dirty buggers. I'm going to have a sip of water. And she'll be even more viable soon. Only a bit, but still. Doesn't really make a difference, to be honest. Oh. Sombra patch coming up. I'm looking forward to it. If you have a still. And let's see. Let's see this attack. Just mine for a boop or a concussion. Okay. First things first. I, I don't like... I, I never like seeing teams do this. I never like seeing teams do this. This is going to be my one of my nitpicks on Voskai. Why are we running this way? There is no advantage to running this way. The only things that should be running this way is like a traitor or a diva looking to go the flank route. The better route is quite simple. You run in here, you go through the doorway there, you've got a Reinhardt barrier in front of you, gets you to where you want to be faster. Um, gets you there with cover, gets you there when you're in no danger of getting booped off by a surprise Faro or Lucio. It, it's better. It's better. I don't like this route. It always, it always tilts me. Okay. So, first things first, just like on Eichervald, exactly the same on Eichervald, we're looking out for two things when we're attacking onto these points. Any point with like a choke point like this one, we're looking for two things. On this map, May is less of an issue, but still, you kind of want to be aware of it. But hey, they got a, a Symmetra. When I'm playing the Zarya, um, my first thought is, okay, um, I'm usually going to be one of the first people through the doorway, so my job is going to be get rid of these turrets. Luckily, Rodog does a good job pulling us through. I don't like to see us just turn around very quickly and fire a right click up here, and just try and clear up any turrets, because usually the turrets are literally, uh, well, where they are now, one, two, three. So we're not really going to kill the Roadhog, so we might as well just turn around, fire a right click like right here, and just clear off these two, maybe. That gets our team a little bit of an easier time moving in. It makes it half a Symmetra to replace them, makes it half a Symmetra to build up. It just slows her down a little bit. It's just like setting this mini priority in your mind of, okay, Zarya, like, I can clear that off. Luckily, like, the enemy team just screw up in a really, really silly way. Because this is actually a really good hook by then. This is a big opportunity. But I think they, yeah, the Anna is just a bit slow. And the, the grenade should have already been... The second that hook, like, chain goes taut, that grenade should be pretty much on its way by the time the Zarya gets here. Luckily, with Zarya, we can purge it anyway, so, hey, we just clear it on ourselves. It does manage to land on the D.Va, but it's too little too late. D.Va just runs in, kills Symmetra somehow with a D.Va, yep. with a, yeah, with the enemy Zarya on them as well. So, well done, Jimmy. Good job. That's a good kill. That slows down the enemy team even more. I'm actually in a really solid position as the rest of the team's decided to push in. Uh, no one's really died yet, I think. Oh! Good survived no problem and solid push like the enemy team just didn't defend appropriately they didn't react appropriately to the stuff coming in and we just walked in like the question i have is how could they have defended that that was i think that was discord on this video not me hopefully yeah discord for me is on streaming mode so it won't be broadcasting anyway very distracted by noises in the background and people shout at streamers when that happens they're getting the damage out, getting the damage out. Like, my question is, did they? Yeah, they have a Reinhardt. Like, why is our, why is Labata allowed to run all the way over here? She's on a goddamn mission. She shouldn't be able to just walk in here. Like, this is crazy talk. 
it's just because right. their Reinhardt's falling back and their Reinhardt has given you so much space that everyone's just run in now and we can do whatever we like. Gotta be a little bit careful of whatever's up there, but hey, we're just getting easy damage out now on the Zarya. Would like to see a bubble on the Diva who's getting currently into a mech just to keep her alive that little bit longer, but hey, we get it out anyway. Get some nice high charge. Good, 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 good. Let's finish off this area. Just gonna right click, okay. Roadog. Giving us free charge as well. Lovely. Good stuff. Okay. This is where, like, again, just talking about like six stacks, playing in six stacks. We need to be talking about resources. We need to, uh, you know, did they use anything? Is, but the question in my mind right now is, did they use anything? What do we have? Take left again. Who's, who's ready to go? Like, we should be definitely reporting status of the Graviton Surge. We should know what our shed is at. We should know what Nano Boost is at. They, these big resources going into the next fight. Um, more Zarya specific. So Metro is actually a very, very good um, source of easy charge for us just because... Like, it's, there's a weird interaction with Zarya Barriers and Symmetra Orbs where you, it feels like the Symmetra Orb should damage Zarya, but it doesn't. So you can just put a barrier up and soak uh, the orbs, get some free charge off that. And the slow traveling, so hey, it's pretty easy. We definitely want to be clearing off these turrets a little bit more proactively. Uh, I think Jimmy eventually does clear them off. And we try and do the same push that they do. Hey, Cartman is me. Cartman 55 is me, even. Oh, you're the many. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have you with us. Yeah, well, let me see. Was there a call of like the direction of this push, or did we just end up over here? As you get scrub hype going in the chat. Just bum rush him. Bum rush him. Okay. Bum push him. My is my is down. Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. The, do you notice there's no like um decisive call about what to do, where to go? Like we move in and we get into actually a pretty good position in sort of this back area. And then Zarya's running up here, Lucio's leading the charge, Miranda's going for it, he's, he's not afraid of this Roadhog with a bubble on him. Um, we got a call out that, hey, the Symmetra uh, shield generator's up. He said go left and you missed it, okay. That's good, at least, okay, good, 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 because this is what, you, what I mean by you want to have a plan. This is where I'll be saying, um, Diva, go hunt it down. Like, so Jimmy's off on a mission, good. The rest of us can take it slowly. We don't actually want to be going too aggro here. We might actually be going a little bit over aggressive, though we do get an opportunity here to get the Roadhog. You notice the goes down in result. We could take this a lot slower. Because what we're actually doing is we're waiting and buying time. Now on the bright side, so yeah. We've got the go left. Go in. Get set up. At this point, I'll be tempted to say, okay, they've got a teleport. Do you either go, the rest of us take it slow. And what I mean by take it slow is like this Roadhog, for example, this is a kill that we can go for. We want to get a hook on that, want to get a sleep on that, maybe try and get some damage. We don't want to be doing this though. We don't want to be running out around this corner where we're exposed to the enemy. We want to just be trapping and using this Roadhog and abusing this Roadhog, killing this Roadhog. The reason why is because we want to just give Jimmy a little bit of time to go find that Symmetra teleporter and Arty, you... This is beautiful. This is beautiful! To get launched by the ultimate and i just i love the cool and calm collected call of symmetra down by the way i just launched her off a cliff guys no big deal no big deal mbd okay we're starting to push back capitalize on the opportunity good 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 would like to see a bubble on this rather than just trying to shell them down right, the second that that hook landed this should be bubbled because we know that the roto's gonna be dueling otherwise we're doing okay we're still doing okay we could just take it slow Keep fighting. Okay, they're using ultimates. Good sleep dart. Good, 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 good. The opportunities we want to be looking for. Okay. Got a call for push in, but... Oh, yes! 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 The non-naked diva ult, ladies and gentlemen. The lesser spotted non-naked diva ult comes in big. And can I just point out, I want everyone to hear this. Nerf Das! Nerf Das! <laughs> so good! Oh, I love the German voice acting! I would like to have a call for like the plan here. Like, is there a call of bomb is up? Because we got a wombo combo now. Grabs up, good, good, good. And we got Earth Shatter. We have. Yeah, we got everything. Could have been just a bit clearer, like Jimmy could have just been a bit clearer of like, we got bomb, um, but 
Otherwise, like the cool of uh, gravitons up, uh, shatter up. That's good enough to go. Like that's actually good enough to go. Um, because between those two, like if you land the graviton, Reinhardt could just run into it and uh, shatter it and just get everyone in it. And then just look at this. Look at this damage. Doesn't quite kill that target, unfortunately. But hey, we've managed to sort of demolish them on the point. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. You said you have bomb. Okay. Because all I heard was push, 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 push. Or I had to just go in, push, or whatever it was. Just aggressive. It's, it's technically correct, but I'll be pushing in thinking, do, do we have a plan here? What's what's the plan? Healing. I'm down. Sorry. Nice. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, okay. Good, good, good. I'm fine with this focus. Nice. Look at look at the kill feed as well. Artie, you monster. Disgusting. Well, really well matched, it. Okay, so we've got talk for planning. Let's listen in well, the com. Yeah, I think they have... The thing is, the thing is with Sombra, no one, when I go Winston, no went... I can keep her out the back, but I can't do anything about the MP, and then I'm also just looking back. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, do you want to try Soldier or Sombra? What about Symmetra? Symmetra is all shields again. It's all shields again. Yes, yeah, but it will gets make... countered by Sombra though. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. That it wasn't would make it hard for her to get through the day, through the gate. We need to yeah, like but it doesn't stop the EMP wipe. We need to do something, we need to do it quick. Yeah. Did they have something against the Pharah? Ooh. I don't think so, actually. Ooh. No, they don't. That's how, very far. How about a pharmacy? Yeah. yeah, okay, there's an adaptation here that I really like. And I wanted to highlight this. Yeah. Um, and I'll go over this while we, like, you know, while this plays out again. I wanted to highlight this because there's actually one important adaptation that you guys missed and didn't mention that sort of incidentally comes along, which is if they are running a Sombra, for the love of God, do not run a Zenyatta. Like, of all things, Sombra hates Zenyatta. Like, Zenyatta just hates to be alive when a Sombra's on the map because Sombra gets EMP and Zenyatta just dies. Like, she, she shouts, Uganda is useless, and Zenyatta just explodes. It, you know, he, d he doesn't live, he doesn't do anything. Get rid of the Zenyatta pick immediately. Run the Mercy instead. Run a Lucio instead. Run something else instead. Actually, don't run a Lucio instead because she card counters sound barrier as well. Uh, so run the Mercy instead. Very, very powerful against the Sombra because also the... Like, you're very, very front-loaded in the fight with Sombra, you generally get very fast wipes. Mercy, very, very, very strong pick. Uh, it took me another day to realize why I died so quickly as Zenyatta, yeah. It's, it feels bad. <gasps> Tap to help. <gasps> but anyway, um, by the way, just something was mentioned there, like, Symmetra makes it hard for her to get through the gate. It technically doesn't. Um, Symmetra turrets don't hit the stealth Sombra, so Sombra would still be able to run in or just translocate through. Um, you wouldn't be able to stop the Sombra getting in. 